So I was browsing my homepage of YouTube and I came across a video from one of my favorite gaming creators, Arlo, who uploaded a video titled, My channel's not dead, so that's nice. So naturally, out of curiosity, I clicked this video, started watching it, and found out quickly that he was talking about COPPA. This is what he had to say in the video. So I woke up on the morning of January the 1st, I walked to my computer, I turned it on, and I was pleased as punch to find that my channel was still there, and YouTube was still there too. No, nothing had exploded or imploded or whatever. My channel had not been automatically marked as kids content, and my career was not effectively over. So that, that was good. So like the main information that was going around, all the scary stuff that was saying like, oh, anything colorful is gonna be considered for kids. Uh, video games at all, anything that could appeal to kids. Um, all that info, it wasn't in the law. Like, I know people who read the law all the way through. You even go to the FTC website, and none of that stuff is actually in there. But then, but then, you have some other people, you have these other YouTubers, and like, the one guy, like, some lawyer people, some actual lawyers are like, yeah, I read the law, and it's... It's saying all that other, like, all the stuff that we had been seeing. They were saying that it does reflect that. Is it possible that this info was in a draft of the law, but it wasn't in the law? Or it's just something that they, uh, internally were sort of considering, even though it wasn't explicitly in the law? I really don't know. And it's really weird and really confusing. So the reason why there's so much confusion with this law and why you're hearing so many different things from so many different YouTubers and not all of it is accurate is because being a YouTuber, your job is to simplify information so people can consume it in a way that makes sense. Obviously, not every viewer is stupid or anything like that, but it's just the best way to have the broadest appeal with your videos. But the law is the exact opposite. It's very in-depth, very technical, and there's a lot of aspects to it. YouTube content and the law is basically polar opposites in terms of how their information within them is conveyed. And when YouTubers want to have the most attractive titles and thumbnails, it tends to lead to a lot of videos that are like, I'm a lawyer, COPA is going to destroy everything, click here to see how YouTube is going to die. And everything is just overblown and on top of YouTubers actually believing the overblown and severe wording of these videos, you get some genuinely worried people such as our who thought his entire channel was going to get removed or severely hindered because of this new COPPA law. But there's a lot of YouTubers who don't take a similar approach to Arlo where he asks questions to his audience and tries to form a discussion based around something he doesn't fully understand, but instead tries to pretend they understand it and uses their limited knowledge of COPPA to not only spread misinformation to their audience, but also critique other creators based on their violation, quote unquote, of this law in their terms. I'm not accusing any of these people of being malicious, but they are wrong. And since I've been seeing so much misinformation in general being spread around YouTube about this law, I figured I'd make this video so people have a place where everything is summarized in a way where YouTubers and viewers can understand how the law is implemented into YouTube, how it affects YouTubers, what YouTubers should do about it, and what parts of it are relevant to bring up when critiquing other creators or just generally discussing the new policy. So by far, the biggest misconception I've seen when it comes to COPPA is that it's illegal now to advertise to children on YouTube. Y'all remember COPPA? You know, the thing where you're legally not allowed to target anybody under the age of 13 with ads anymore? This is 100% false. You've heard stuff similar to it because advertising to children on YouTube is related to COPPA, but it is not illegal to advertise to children. Let me explain. COPPA stands for the Child's Online Privacy Protection Act. This is a law that was first implemented back in April of 2000. It was created specifically for the internet, and it was to prevent companies from gathering data from children under the age of 13. This is why on every website you sign up for, it asks you if you're 13 plus. Because these websites are legally not allowed to gather your email, phone number, etc. if you were under the age of 13. Now how does this apply to YouTube and YouTube advertising? Because YouTube, just like all these other websites, don't allow you to create an account unless you are over the age of 13. Well the thing about YouTube is that you can watch YouTube videos without an account. And YouTube serves its default advertisements that show up at the beginning and sometimes middle and end of each video to people without these accounts 
aka some people that are under the age of 13. That on its own would be fine, but the way the Google AdSense program works is that it collects data from your computer like browse history for example, that helps modify these ads to be more suited towards the viewer. And if that viewer is under 13, that means Google is taking data from kids under 13 in order to place those ads on those YouTube videos, which is a violation of COPPA. Because of this, YouTube had to settle in a lawsuit and introduce a new feature where you have to mark your video as made for kids or not made for kids so that YouTube knows which videos they can put these personalized advertisements on that use data collection. Because obviously, Google can't go out of their way to review every single video that's uploaded to YouTube in order to determine if it's made for kids or made not for kids in order to place their ads appropriately. And I guess they could make it so you have to have a YouTube account in order to view a YouTube video, but that would make them lose a lot more money than implementing this half-assed system. So this law has nothing to do with advertising to children and everything to do with data collection from children which happens to be implemented in YouTube's default advertisement system. So if a YouTuber is promoting a product to a kid through the video itself and not an advertisement placed through YouTube's automatic advertisements, let's say like a sponsorship or whatever, that is completely legal. But a lot of YouTubers seem to not know this. They think that if you advertise to children at all on YouTube, it is a violation of COPA, which is 100% incorrect. Now what is a violation not of COPA but of different laws is to not check the content declaration box when putting a sponsorship onto your video. What this does is place a little pop-up in the bottom left corner of a video which tells the audience if it includes a paid sponsorship or not. A lot of YouTubers don't do this and personally I don't really see it as a big deal if they don't but I've seen other creators criticize content creators for not directly stating that they have a paid sponsorship in their video when it's extremely obvious, but those videos actually do have the little pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner, so they are abiding by the law with that disclosure. Whether it's morally correct or not to advertise to children with only that little pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner is up for debate, but they are definitely not doing anything that's illegal. I'd also like to mention that if you have ad block on, this pop-up doesn't show up at all because it's kind of implemented into YouTube system them as an ad for whatever reason. So I've seen some people claim that these creators don't have the pop-up, but if you turn off your ad block, I assure you it is there. If it's not and there ends up being no disclosure from the creator's mouth in the video or in the pinned comment or description or anything, then and only then is that creator open to critique on a legal level. The next major misconception that I see a lot is the argument that YouTube could have implemented COPPA in a way that is more fair to all creators. So what happens to her is she ticks the box that says, yes, this content is aimed at children, and that means that her ads turn off and her comment section shuts off, which is a shitty fucking implementation of, of COPA. I hate that. I don't hate COPA. I hate the implementation so far on YouTube. But the fact is that the only way they could have done that is if they age-restricted every video on YouTube to only be watched by people over the age of 13, in the exact same way that some videos are currently age-restricted to only be seen by people who are 18+. plus. This would force the user to create an account and confirm that they are 13, and would make it impossible for you to watch a YouTube video without this account. By putting in this restriction, Google could continue to run ads on YouTube without worrying about people under the age of 13 having their data taken. The alternative to that is to just not take data at all when placing advertisements onto videos, but anyone who knows anything about online advertising knows that that's pretty much impossible. Unless YouTube only wants a very small handful of advertisers onto their website, this is not a viable option in the slightest. It would cause another adpocalypse, forcing everyone to make as much money as the typical demonetized video, which can range from about 0 to $1 per 30k views. It's really a crapshoot the amount of monetized views you can get on a demonetized video or in proper terms, a video with limited ads, which basically means no ads, as I just explained. At that point, the only way YouTubers can make money is by YouTube premium views, super chats, 
or channel membership. So basically, that's not gonna happen. YouTube's not gonna do that. And the way COPPA was implemented in our reality, it's pretty much the best and only way YouTube could implement COPPA into their platform while still making money and complying with the law. Everything that gets taken away from you if you mark your video for kids, such as comments, notification bell, end cards, etc., all relies on some sort of data collection. Believe it or not, Google actually collects a lot of data from you and implements it natively into a lot of their system. You can actually download all the data that Google is collecting from you. I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you guys can actually see firsthand everything that Google uses data collection for, but it's pretty much their entire business model. The last misconception I want to talk about today is the confusion between COPPA and CTA. These two laws are often paired together when discussing COPPA because they both involve regulation in order to protect children, but it's very important to keep them separate when talking about YouTubers potentially breaking the law, not just because they are separate laws, but because one is implemented into YouTube and the other isn't. COPPA is implemented into YouTube, as many of you guys know, we've been talking about it for the last 10 minutes, but CTA, which stands for Children's Television Act, only applies to media on TV. So while YouTubers like Jake Paul, Lele Pons, J Station, and many more who make raunchy content for children are in violation of these laws, it is only illegal if they do it on TV, not on YouTube. There's an argument that these laws could be implemented into YouTube, but it's not yet, so should we really be saying that YouTubers are breaking laws that don't even exist yet for them? Jake Paul's content is illegal to broadcast in most countries he could name. Just apply that logic to anything. It could be a rule in the future to not go over 50 kilometers on this road, but currently you can go over 50 kilometers on this road, so should the car really be slowing down in preparation for a rule that doesn't exist yet? I don't know. Just some food for thought right there. So that's all I wanted to say today. If you listen through all of this and you're a YouTuber, be sure to keep all of this in mind when talking about COPPA on your channel. And if you have already talked about COPPA and have spread misinformation, please try and correct some of it in either a tweet or a pinned comment or something. You don't have to, but these discussions are important for the future of our platform. And if you care about it, you probably should be accurate and not spread misinformation. If you're not a YouTuber and you watch through all of this, Thank you, you really didn't have to, but I appreciate it a lot, just like I appreciate my channel members who've supported the channel. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now, I will see you guys in another video.